This week on The Wire. Shortage creates investor opportunity, economy back on track, and markets tip to surge in 2021. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off with our top story for this week. Prices rise in all markets. So shortage of rental homes, multiple applications per property and rising rents are proof that Australia is undersupplied with predictions that the country could soon see the biggest rent increases in living memory. Propertyology Head of Research Simon Presley says property markets have largely survived the pandemic unscathed despite falling migration, with only Sydney and Melbourne recording a surplus of stock and falling rents. Now many locations have vacancy rates below 1%. Presley says Australia does not have enough housing supply. We're predicting the next couple of years will produce the biggest increase in rents Australia has seen. It's good news for investors who for many years have seen little or no increase in value on their investment. Equally, it is good news for sellers who will likely benefit from the increase in buy demand. Presley says most of Australia had an undersupply of housing prior to COVID-19 and it remains undersupplied. Now guys, for our next story. Economy back on track. Blockbuster growth in the September quarter has put the economy on course to regain its pre-pandemic size by the middle of next year, and six months earlier than expected by the Reserve Bank and Treasury. Updated CBA growth forecasts in the wake of figures which revealed national output jumped 3.3% over the quarter, suggests real GDP will reach almost half a trillion dollars in the June 2021 quarter, which is eclipsing the figure recorded in December 2019. CBA Head of Economics Gareth Ed expects the economy to grow 2% over the final three months of the year, and Treasurer Josh Frydenberg and Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe have repeated forecasts for the economy to regain its pre-pandemic size by the end of next year. But the surprising pace of the recovery will trigger upgrades from both Treasury and the RBA, Ed says. Across the country, there's been a revival in spending, rising 1.4% month on month to October, and the latest ABS data shows retail turnover rising 7.1% compared to October 2019 at a national level. Now guys, for our final story of the week, markets tip to surge in 2021. Housing markets are forecast to take off in 2021 after a year plagued by the pandemic recession that saw Australians squirrel away $110 billion in savings. With the economy now out of a recession and auction clearance rates steadily rising, Australians' strong appetite for bricks and mortar is strong, and some of the money households save during the lockdown phases is likely to go into the housing market. CBA Head of Economics Gareth Ed says improving consumer sentiment and cashed up households are fueling price growth. A few forces are all pointing to higher house prices, he says. Some of the forward-looking thinking uh, indicators, like lending, have increased quite quickly in the past four months. New home loan commitments reached record highs in October, according to ABS data. And Mortgage Choice uh, DY Principal James Algar says consumer sentiment has picked up with more and more people preparing to enter the market next year. Well, guys, they're the top stories for the week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.